Federico, from Denmark, has been at the center of a target after published photos with Genevieve Casanova, but now he is also facing serious charges. Any move by Queen Margaret's son is being looked at through a magnifying glass, and after the interviews his wife Mary Donaldson gave about his mental health, the press in his country has become very critical. Something quite unusual is usually the tabloids are one of the biggest pillars of the establishment. In the midst of this spiral of information and the fact that the princess is in Australia to meet with her family accompanied by her three children, it seems that the media also wants to corner the future king and has seriously accused the royal house of covering up the controversy. Relying on several public organizations that would also like to cover up the prince and his dating with a former contestant of Masked Singer, Guess Who Sings. According to the investigation, the night Federico and Genevieve met in Madrid, he had full institutional support for his controversial transfers through the capital. It was a Danish embassy car that picked him up as he wandered through the morning traffic after an evening with Casanova, explained the above-mentioned media, which wondered why an official car would follow the future heir if the visit was unofficial and private. But the newspaper also says that they tried to talk to the royal house, and the latter only directly replied that he did not want to go into the matter. We do not comment on rumors and insinuations, they say. But not only that, the above-mentioned newspaper says in its publication that it has data that compromises high-ranking government officials. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is trying to hide its role in the affair, they write, revealing that Lars Luka Rasmussen, Danish foreign minister and future heir apparent, planned the trip so that he could easily do whatever he wanted in Spain. Extra Bladet has attempted to gain access to documents about the Crown Prince's much-publicized escape to Madrid. That is, less than a week before the Crown Prince was in the Spanish capital. Statements showing that everything had been prepared for the future heir to move freely were always supported by his government. Criticism of Federico is becoming increasingly harsh and the media and journalists, who normally do not comment on the royal house, are beginning to do so. If you're a crown prince and you travel the world, you also have to explain what you sometimes do. Even if it's in private. You can just say it was a private visit to a friend. I don't understand why they didn't say anything. I guess it's not a smart move, they explain. If you want to be king of Denmark, you have to take a certain interest in all aspects of life, added Dan Racklin at the premiere of Napoleon. Federico is increasingly being criticized. This is not the first time Mary Donaldson's husband has been criticized for his leadership and behavior. In addition to being in the spotlight after his irregular use of several army helicopters for travel last September, he asked to go from Friedensburg to Oxball. When he had no official events, Federico has come under scrutiny because of his visit to Dubai for the COP Climate Summit.28 because her role there is irrelevant and, according to the Danish press, the trip only served to clean up her image. It doesn't matter whether he goes to the COP or not. The only impact he has on the environment is the negative impact he has by making this trip. The only person who is happy that the crown prince is there is himself. Extra Bladet explained.